so how many options you need to take for csc civil services only one one option okay uh, how many optional subjects are there do you know totally 48 okay 48 in that 48 subjects you need to take one option okay so uh, this optional this max demo won't be like only for uh, those who only just for max i'll give you like a general overview of all the options what's the importance of the option uh, and what are the things which you need to consider before choosing any option not just this option any option for that matter any option so optional will be coming in the mains in the mains only at the main stage options will be there here how many marks this will be there you'll be having gs4 papers you'll be having gs1 gs2 gs third paper and general studies fourth paper and one more paper that is essay essay this is nothing but ethics gs4 is nothing but ethics uh, each paper is for 250 marks essay one essay and optional optional will be having two papers paper one and paper two any optional this will be carrying 500 marks and essay will be carrying 250 marks okay so what's the sum total of everything Seventeen fifty. One seven five zero. One seven five zero. These are the total marks, which uh, which are conducted for UPSC mains. In the mains, they'll be conducting for this. Mains. Now, see the percentage of this. Out of 750, 1750, 1000 marks are taken away by SA, Ethics, and Optional. In that also, optional percentage you see 500 marks. So, this, th this three, this 1000 marks is going to decide your rank. In that, optional is going to play the key role. If you can get good score in the optional, you'll get a very good rank. Understood this? Entire your preparation, you'll be focusing on GS everything for these three, for 750 marks only. But the remaining three topics, that is essay, ethics, and optional is going to decide your rank. Whether you'll get selected or not is going to be decided by this one. Yeah? Now, by this, you'll be, you might be able to get the importance of optional, not just the optional, essay and ethics also. Now we'll see with max, specifically with max, uh, what are all the options are there? All those things we'll see. Uh, it's uh, not required to introduce the great personality, Ramanujam from Tamil Nadu district, uh, Tamil Nadu state only. Which, stay, which district do you know? Kumakona? Kumakona means his birthplace, right? Okay. Just know whatever I said, I kept this in the form of this. What are all the GS papers it contains? I kept it. GS, essay paper you'll be writing, two essays you'll be writing, GS papers and options. Any option for this matter. In any option, you'll be having two option, two papers you need to write. Each one will be for 250, 50 marks. And one more uh, is uh, uh, 
this uh, this paper is is not counted for marks that is s uh, uh, one english paper and native language paper any regional language paper this this are this won't be considered for the marks next these are all the options which are present in the upsc it's not just mathematics or anthropology geography or anything totally 48 topics are there 48 subjects Forty-eight. In that, you need to choose one option. Only one option. So I segregated this into, uh, in uh, in realistic way, what I have done is engineering options, science options, commerce options, medical science options, as one set, and humanities. humanities i as one more set next literatures as one more literatures or languages <coughs> this four engineering medical uh, medical uh, science topics and commerce here this four are uh, what i'll say these are not regular subjects but if you see this year top uh, from which background from which, uh, which option do you know no uh, last year last year out of in the top 25 15 ranks are from this four in the top 25 this year The top twenty-five, twelve to fifteen ranks are from this. <coughs> Though these options look very odd in a regular perspective, but these options are going to decide your ranks. Most of the people are getting ranks in these options. In that, engineering options, engineering subjects are three subjects are there: civil, electrical, and mechanical. Those who are very good at engineering subjects, they can take it. No issue. There is no. Uh, if you are good at uh, in your engineering uh, if you have done civil or mechanical or electrical and if you are good in that subject na no, take it don't waste your time in choose uh, choose by choosing other option next medical science those are from the mbbs background and if you are good at it take medical science it's a very good subject and coming to the science science it includes maths physics chemistry zoology botany zoology botany agriculture even agriculture will be coming anthro statistics this this area uh, if you are if your material is availability you can take that why who all can take mathematics option i'll tell later next commerce those who are from mcom or uh, those who have done mba those can those can take commerce branch lot of people are taking this and if you are, don't know anything about all these things yes, sir i didn't study much in in the, in the graduation i don't know any of those topics i i have forgot everything i want to do freshly i don't know anything then you take any of that social science social science it will be from basics it will be there all social science that is humanities option but if you are up to uh, 11th or 12th class if you are done uh, in the regional language like tamil kannada malayalam if you have studied and if you are interested in that take the literature options all literature options all these are literature options they are scoring good marks the people are scoring good marks in literature options as well okay in this engineering medical science and commerce they are getting very good high marks there this year one of the top or uh, one of the top in the top 3 or top 5 one uh, chemistry from chemistry is there we got around 336 out of 500 that is highest score from chemistry he got from max 332 or 333 one got one person got so score will be like that next what are the things which you need to consider any option for choosing any option first look at all the papers which are interesting topics you uh, if you like look at that then 
uh, read for one week. Read on your own. If you are able to understand, for, a, for that matter, if you are good at max up to 11th or 12th class, open that 11th or 12th class book. See that. Are you able to understand basics or not? If you are able to follow, not, then take it. But at that stage itself, if you are facing difficulty, you are not, uh, it's becoming very tough for you. you are, if you are unable to understand, it's not about doing the problems. When, when you are reading, are you able to understand it? If you are able to understand, uh, take that. That is one. Next, look at the pre PYQs. That is previous year questions. Uh, are you able to understand the question? What they are able to be? Then, next, inquire about the tests or the material. If that is available, no? choose that option. Any option you can choose. That's what I said. Filter all the options. What are the options are there? Filter. Next, evaluate. Evaluate about the resources, that is material availability, uh, uh, basics, whether you are getting the basics or not. You analyze about yourself. It's all about you. And with, you are able to understand the knowledge of uh, that uh, language of that subject or not. That also you should do. Next, choose that. This is a three-step process to choose an option. Okay, in that last stage, that is, tests and materials are very important. If you are unable to get the tests and material, even though you have knowledge, it will be very tough. At the, after clearing the prelims, you need to write the test. From the test only, you'll be learning a lot. If that is not there, it will become a tough. You're able to get this. Next. Why max optional? Why, uh, why max optional uh, importance is growing on and people are choosing, more number of people are choosing max optional. Now we'll specifically go to optional math, mathematics now. Now I said about general perspective of the optionals. Now we'll go to mathematics. What are the advantages or uh, why students are choosing nowadays more about the mathematics option means whenever you write an answer, whenever you write a solution, whether it is correct or not, at that time itself, we'll be able to get Immediately, we'll be able to get that. That is not possible in all other remaining humanities subjects. In remaining humanity subjects, it's not possible. In science subjects, it is possible, like zoology, botany, commerce, physics, max, agriculture. Immediately, we'll be able to get that. Humanity subjects, it's not possible. That objectivity will be there in the answers. Objectivity of the answers will be there. Next, certainty. What do you mean by certainty? Means certainty of marks. For example, if you are attempting for 10 marks, for 10 marks question, you are attempting one question you are attempting. In that, if you have presented, presented well and you have done the uh, solution correctly, how much you'll be expecting here marks for this 10 marks? Don't say it is full, like in 10th class or 11th or 12th class. There you'll be going for, uh, for 100 marks, you'll be getting 100. Or 10 marks question, you'll be getting 10. But here it won't be there. If your presentation is good and everything is good, you'll be getting either 8 or 9 marks. If your presentation is not good, I've, I'll come to the presentation later on. It's not about handwriting or not that. If your presentation is not good, you'll be getting around 6 or 7 marks. Writing the things. If you have done the mistake, <coughs> but your presentation is good, you'll be getting either five or six marks. If you are able to approach the problem, but you are missing somewhere, you'll be in this range. You won't be getting zero. Okay. In the uh, humanities options or any option, nah, if you write the best answer, you'll be getting five or six marks. This is a difference why people are scoring very high marks in science options. Science option, not just with max, any science options. This is one of the main reasons. Clear? Understood? So certainty of marks will be there. And next important thing will be uh, what I'll call uh, in max optional, it's not required to update yourself with current affairs. No current affairs. Syllabus is very static. Static syllabus from the 1979, this syllabus is framed. In 2008, little bit modification has been done. 
from then on it is same no change nothing it's not required to update write examples read the newspaper and write some nothing is required syllabus is static it got fixed from last 50 years they are asking the same thing it is fixed in that way itself they, it will be. it's not required to update with the current day. next as i said here this is scoring high scoring people are getting very high scores i'll show the marks list of uh, selected guys at that place you can understand very high score they are getting more than 330 easily they are getting next uh, after uh, writing the prelims after writing the prelims and after getting selected you will be the time duration between prelims and mains will be around 90 to 100 days only 90 to 100 days in that 90 to 100 days you will be focusing more on the gs gs you will be focusing at that place when you are totally in, immersed in the gs topic somewhere sometime you will get frustrated with that at that time open the maths <coughs> maths will be helpful in that way. advantage of maths is this it's not required that you need to invest four to five hours at that time after the planes it's not required if you follow the class and do the pyqs of the last five years it's enough it's enough after clearing the prelims one hour it's one to two hours daily if you can practice it's enough that is the biggest advantage with mathematics option next one more advantage will be like uh, most of you are from engineering background or those who have done bsc or msc mathematics correct very few people will be from physics or agriculture background very few people uh, up to 11th or 12th class or 10th class if you are good at maths now if you know about the numbers if you know about the equation from there you can start it's not that you need to start from the basics basics from basics it's not required that is from scratch it's not required to start the syllabus whereas for remaining optional humanities optional from scratch you need to start from very scratch you need to start very basics you need to go for max option that is not at all required because you are up to 10th class you have all the funda with you basic funda that itself is more than up to 10th whatever you are having or 11th or 12th class whatever you are having that is enough. next uh, one of the greatest advantages what i can say is those who are those who are not having a good handwriting and those who don't have <laughs> that uh, especially science guys they don't have present uh, uh, what i'll say i won't say presentation skill uh, i'll say is writing style or writing style the better word i can use is writing style if you don't have that no problem in maths that is not required not at all required either bad handwriting no issue writing style no issue what you need is presentation style you need that presentation skill if you get that you can score good marks even if your handwriting is bad no issue it doesn't matter handwriting doesn't matter so these are the biggest advantages with the mathematics option next who all the people can choose mathematics option who will who can choose means those who have done btech all the engineering graduates because in the first two uh, years you'll be having max that syllabus is itself almost 60% is covered in 60% of btech syllabus is present here next those who have done bsc max or msc max these people directly with uh, closing their eyes they can choose this max max option because for them almost 90% of the syllabus is covered almost 90% and remaining guys will be up to 11th uh, up to 12th class you might be studying mathematics up to 12th class but after that you might have chosen agriculture or you might have chosen bsc max like that uh, or you might have chosen commerce those students up to uh, 12th class if you are good at max na then you can choose then also you can do it. there are few students of mine uh, uh, during the covid time uh, one guy is there from physics background he has done bsc physics 
and uh, before covid one guy was there from uh, msc physics they have done bsc in msc physics they have chosen the max option they got selected and there was from uh, one student from agriculture background agri bsc agriculture they have done they have chosen this they got that so that flexibility is there with this option there's huge flexibility so all these people can choose. all the engineering graduates bsc or msc max graduates or those guys who are good at uh, maths up to 11th or 12th class they can choose this okay understood next uh, anyone has any doubt up to this anyone wants to ask anything nothing clear okay uh, sir you have told only advantages uh, don't this option has any defects sir or any disadvantages yeah you all in yes if you have any doubt now you can ask raise your hand ask raise your hand in that uh, zoom meeting there he will give the permission they he will unmute you you can ask your question not okay so what are the defects of this max option that also we'll see telling only positive till it's no it won't any any subjects will be having positives and negatives any subject not just for mathematics or not just for any humanities subjects even humanities has advantages literatures have advantages at the same time disadvantages same with the case of maths also everything will be having and who are all the students who can take this this guys all the beta graduates they can take no issue any engineering graduate any engineering graduate because in the first two years they'll be having this max that is enough and be a bsc msc guys they can take next what are the myths associated or disadvantages all this will be covered here one disadvantage which most of the students will tell is huge syllabus is there sir whether huge syllabus is there or not that we'll see actually uh this i'll call it a, i won't call it as disadvantage it's a myth actually why it is a myth i'll tell you total max optional has 13 units 13 units in that in this two units are specifically for physics physics topics are there remaining 11 units are pure max okay then why it's a here uh, huge syllabus means here in pure max 11 units here you'll be having like uh, in numerical analysis iterative process will be there you need to do iteration there it will be taking time uh, for the for getting the problems or uh, to uh, get the practice in one model i'll be giving around 5 to 6 questions since you need to get the practice when you will be given it's not just one problem uh, to the one model one problem i i'll teach it's over it, it won't happen like that on each model minimum 5 to 6 questions so in order to cover entire what are all the models applicable where upsc can ask that will be covered so it will be taking that's why we call it as huge syllabus but actually it's not a huge syllabus syllabus is not huge by the by this time you might have studied uh, you are studying about this uh, gs in gs there is lot of topics are there lot of units are there but compared to that this is only 13 units it's not a huge syllabus but since you are doing the practice it will taking time yeah understood this is one disadvantages you can tell or a myth i can 
next uh sir this option will be taken only by the those students who are from iits or those who are students from uh, uh university toppers nothing like that that is a myth that's a very big myth till now almost like uh, my students till now almost like uh, 23 students got selected till now only from max pure pure life max in this uh four are from iit four are from iit remaining 19 guys are not from iit they are from normal colleges those who have done uh, bsc physics also they have bsc agriculture also they have from the normal college those who studied they also got yeah understood so anyone can take this option but you should have a genuine interest in maths for doing the problems uh, for example if you give me biology topic now for me it will be like a bengali movie i won't be able to understand anything there they'll call cell uh, animal kingdom for me it's a bengali movie every person will be having love to one subject at the same time every person will be having hatred to few subjects so don't take subjects uh, optional in that hatred sub topics whichever you love na in that area you take it and don't depend on the uh, people who give uh, free suggestions they'll be giving they don't know about the options because they do, they uh, to whom you need to take the suggestion now with this option if anyone went to up to the interview stage they'll be knowing the advantage of this only those will be knowing what are the advantage of this those who don't uh, those who didn't took uh, this option but they'll say don't take that don't take suggestion from that kind of ask the people who have who went up to the interview then they will be able to tell what are the advantages and disadvantages with this compared to me they will be telling better next one more myth is uh choose syllabus next actually this is a genuine concern there is no role in gs it is not at all linked with general studies no link this is there on this topic i like it whereas humanities options there will be link but here there won't be any link next what are the other concerns for this means sir will there be a scaling 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 means just now i said out of 10 marks you will be given if you write well you'll be getting 8 or 9 marks that one mark or two marks will be left out that is called scaling will there be a scaling yes scaling will be there in maths option scaling is there you won't be given full marks in any other, any option also they they won't be giving the scaling sir why they'll do if i do a problem correctly why they why can't they give 10 to 10 means if you are getting good marks out of 500 if you getting 490 in this option la humanities option they it's not possible for them to score more than 280 all the maths students or physics students will get the rank na? all the ranks will be taken by science graduates only so what to make everyone into one loop they'll be scaling that scaling will be done for that purpose not for any other purpose to bring everyone into uniformity for that purpose only. these are some as uh, myths are disadvantages with this maths option next uh what is the syllabus associated with this that will be say uh, just now i said it is having 13 uh, uh, topics i said 13 units these are the 13 in paper 1 you will be having 6 units paper 1 we have 6 units in paper 2 we have 7 units totally it is 30 so what are all the topics are there that also we'll see here linear algebra here linear algebra includes pure linear algebra as well as matrices matrices up to 11th and 12th class whatever the matrices you are learning that matrices next calculus here calculus means limits continuity differentiation integration those parts next 3d or solid geometry solid geometry this is geometry 
this is a algebra topic this this might be new topic for most of the btech graduates this topic this is the only topic which is which will be new. next ordinary differential equations next one will be this is a physics topics this is physics topic in paper one this is a physics topic next one is a vector analysis these are the six units. next in paper two you have modern algebra again this is one topic which is new to the engineering graduates these two will be the new topics solid geometry and this one are the new topics for the engineering graduates next real analysis real analysis and calculus both are same syllabus is same next linear programming problems this is also called as operational research very small unit easiest unit complex analysis calculus unit next partial differential equation like ode next numerical analysis and computer programming is a don't think that you need to learn the programming language no programming language nothing is there don't worry about that next mechanics and fluid dynamics this is one more physics topic these are the two physics topics which are there apart from that remaining everything will be same which is familiar to you You're able to get this in this where you might face difficulty will be before it's all right tell those are from uh, beta graduates in the solid geometry initially to understand it to get into that sink you might face a problem this is one place next modern algebra modern algebra is very new topic for engineering graduates it's a, for bsc ms banks they, they have done in this but engineering graduate this is a new topic this modern algebra how it will be like uh, do you play sudoku sudoku logic will be that ruby cube uh, you will arrange the colors that logic will be. it's pure play with the numbers It's a, it's a just play with the digits, zero to nine. How you will play with addition and multiplication? How you will play? That they will be. That is the top present in modern algebra. These are the thirteen. Syllabus they are given like this, but I won't teach in this way. I won't do. I won't start with linear algebra. I won't be going like this. I'll tell you how we'll be teaching. Next. uh i'll be uh, telling about the syllabus part now uh, actually my i'll tell to my students to always target this score more than 330 my one of my student got 350 to marks this was the highest score of my student um, most of my generally most of my students score Are in three forties, most of them, three forty eight, three forty two, three forty five. Uh, last year it was three fifteen. The twenty twenty two, three fifteen. Uh, that before year around three, three eighteen or something is there. That was his score, but mostly it will score will be like this. So for this to score three thirty marks, what are all the things I'll be doing? Specifically, I'll be focusing. my store target will be this why are why you are targeting this score sir why you want to target this score simple logic what i'll give is remaining options scoring 280 is very big task toppers will be getting this 280 to 300 but he, if you get here around 330 na you will be getting an added advantage of 50 or 40 marks this will drag you into top 100 ranks or this will help you to go into the interview stage to go into in the interview this will help you understood this so for that what what uh, specifically i'll be doing this i'll be covering the topics from very basics very basic i'll be going if i start any unit in the first 1 hour or 2 hours i'll be teaching the basics if any anything like matrices Up to eleventh or twelfth class, what is a square matrix? What is a rectangle? That I'll be telling. Then we'll go into the syllabus. From school days, what you have studied. From there, we'll be going for one or two hours. Then we'll go to the, into the stop. For every unit, we'll be covering the basics. 
then only we'll be starting the syllabus next more one of the advantages at most important places what are all the pyqs in the previous year questions where they are targeting which area they are targeting in the coming years where they can ask already once they have asked means they won't be asking that area now. so they'll be asking something new in the coming years that area will be that when we are dealing with a topic itself next whenever you are uh, whenever you are writing the question uh, if uh, 100 people are writing with max option 90 people will be knowing the answer in max but uh, all 90 people won't be getting selected for the interview no so there they will be doing something that is presentation skill what the demand of the question based on that how to present it for 5 marks how to present it for 10 marks how to present it for 15 marks how to present it for 20 marks how to present it the same question way to keep the boxes way to keep the subheadings that will be discussing next presentation will be taught here presentation style that will be focusing next uh, whenever you are completing the unit i'll tell you uh, how to uh, by what uh, uh, for example if you are completing a unit i'll ask you to prepare a flow chart prepare a flow chart and write the formulas whichever we have used with that you can uh, you can remember that a lot i'll help you to develop that flow chart and apart from the class notes i'll be giving you last 5 years 5 to 7 years solutions last 5 to 7 years next i'll be giving the soft copy of the notes once the class starts telegram channel will be open in that i'll be sharing the notes before itself whenever the uh, unit starts i'll be sharing the notes for the entire unit i'll be sharing the notes so if you are missing uh, some classes you can refer that in the class we'll be solving the problems we may solve that problems or we may solve additional problems as well but you'll be having the notes with you everything will be here. apart from this i'll be sharing you textbooks what are all the books which are required i'll be sharing this if any material is required that i'll be sharing these are all the things you'll be getting. with this and combined to this if you write the test and whenever the unit completes na generally i'll be keeping the unit wise test unit wise test i'll be keeping. if it is a big unit now uh, uh, complete after a completion of every one unit i'll be keeping the test if it is a small small unit after a completion of two units one test i'll be keeping in the test i'll be focusing on the presentation mode most focus area will be the presentation next after completion of your prior once you qualify the prelims write the test series this will help you a lot this test and the test series will help you a lot these two will help you to get the rank writing the things in the starting i said before choosing an option three things you need to do get genuine interest whether you are having or not that it depends upon you second main thing will be materials tests all the materials i'll be sharing and also i'll be giving the tests third what is the third thing pyqs i you need to choose pyq solution also will be given Writing the things as well as the notes, total notes. Apart from the material, you will be getting the notes. Okay, this will be, I'll be focusing here. My target will be this only. This is my target. I'll target my students to score more than this. I won't. I, I won't be satisfied if you get around two fifty or two eighty or two ninety. I won't. My focus will be this today. Uh, study study result uh, day before study result came right 
Yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday result came. Uh, three students, they call, got qualified. They are messaging me, sir, when the test will give it, how to study. They know, they have written the test, but they want to target this area. They have completed it, they are having the PYQs with them. But now they are, again, they are asking for the test, test, test. Yesterday, yesterday by this time it came. Continuously now they are asking. From the same institute. Three guys qualified from the max option. From remaining class, remaining guys are there, but from this class itself, they got them. That focus will be that. Next. Uh, these are the mark sheets of my students who got the rank, who got selected. See this score. How much it is? 310. This is 20, 21 or 22 paper. 22. Okay, in that year, highest mark was 322 or 323. Highest mark. In that year, he got 310. And he got uh, selected with a good rank. And focus, what I'll focus is, uh, three areas I'll, I'll I ask you to focus. One is essay. The other is ethics. Then option. These three areas you see. If you can score good marks in these three areas, you'll get the rank paka. That is assured. Focus these areas. Next. This was a good... Uh, this optional you see. Optional marks. How much it is? Three? 7 plus 5, 12, 6, 342. 342. See the marks in SA and this. They're getting more than 100. So 342 here, 101, means 4, uh, 442 plus 120. 442 plus 120, how much it will be? 560, 560 marks. Out of 1030 marks which is got, 560 marks are from this only. Means 50% of the marks he already got from this only area. And in that, he got 150, 160 marks in the interview. Here also, if you keep here 160 marks, means he scored near to 300 in the remaining means entire year, whichever your focus, na, will be scoring less marks. Now, for, uh, a lot of, uh, one, uh, one month or two months uh, has happened, this uh, GS topics have matter started. Not just one or two months. Entire year, you'll be doing that only. Daily, you'll be reading that only. There, you'll be getting less marks. Essay, you won't focus. Ethics, you won't focus. Optional, you won't touch. But that will decide your life. Yeah. Next. This one from uh, IFS. This is IFS scorecard. The same syllabus, max option. You can score, you can write Indian Forest Service also. Indian Forest Service. Uh, in 2020 or 2021, he got rank. That before all year also, he, he, wrote, the, he wrote this. But he got, uh, he didn't got selected. At that time, in IFS, it is for 400 marks. Not for 500, it is for 400. In that uh, in that year, that before year, he got 180 in the option out of 400. Then he asked about, sir, he has shown, he has written all the answers. I have written in this way and I got this much score. How to improve? I told few techniques, the presentation, presentation I am focusing now. I told him that he has done. You see the mark. Just a presentation, nothing. 
no concept nothing out of hand how many marks did i improve Fifty to sixty marks, or fifty to fifty-five marks. That's a huge. That will take you to. He got all India sixteenth rank. All India sixteenth rank. In the next year, one more guy got forty-ninth rank. In the same forest service. Since it's a forest service, I'm not focusing much. But with the same syllabus, you can write. Previous two were for UPSC. This is for this. One. Okay. Next. Uh, before wine, what I'll entire syllabus I said na entire syllabus mathematics syllabus I'll be dividing it into three topics. One is calculus, algebra. And physics topics. Calculus, algebra, and physics. In the calculus, what are all the things we'll be dealing with? Pure calculus plus ray analysis, vector analysis plus complex analysis, ODE plus PDE. These are the topics in calculus. In this way, I'll be dealing the syllabus. I won't go with the unit wise in that way. Total calculus, you'll be getting, you'll be in one. Go. Next, algebra, what are the units which we have means? Modern algebra plus linear algebra. Next, uh, 3D geometry. Next, LPP. Next, uh, numerical and uh, uh, numerical analysis. These topics comes under algebra. Next, physics, paper one physics and paper two physics. This will be dealing at the end. In this way, syllabus will be covered. In the three heads, calculus, algebra and physics will be covering the syllabus. And every time I'll be dealing with two units at a time. Two units, I'll, I won't touch entire uh, one unit for entire day. I'll be taking two units. In what way I'll be taking? Means mostly I'll be taking one calculus unit and one algebra unit. Parallel it will goes. Okay. Uh, and if you ask me, what are all the, where you can score more marks, sir? From calculus, they're asking more marks. From this area, they're asking more marks. Compared to this, they're asking more marks. And, and each unit will be focusing on uh, where UPSC is asking from the last five years. Previously, where they used to ask. In the coming years, where they ask. That will be discussing. Okay. Now, if you, anyone has any doubt in this, you can ask. With max optional or any optional, still in dilemma with choosing any other optional or just come, just came to, just like that. If you have anything, you can ask. And Little bit, small. Uh, for example, linear algebra, some extra topics are there in IFOS. Uh, calculus analysis, it is same. Uh, vector analysis, complex analysis, it is same. Modern algebra, it is same. Mm. Uh, what I'll say? Uh, linear algebra, it is extra, and modern algebra, uh, in one topic, extra syllabus is there. Similarly, in 3D geometry, it is uh, uh, the syllabus is more compared to IFOS. Uh, next, uh, uh, PDE, sometimes they're asking a little bit extra topic they're asking. Modern uh, linear algebra and PDE, we can, little bit extra they're asking. Apart from that, most of it will be same. Scientific CALC is allowed. For mathematics options, you can take CALC along with you. No issue. Sure. It is allowed. It is allowed. It is allowed. No issue. That they are saying in that UPSC that is, you can take that. No issue. Yeah. 
no theory. Theory will be, I'll explain, but they won't, UPSC won't ask. Only problems they'll ask. No issue. Anything? All right, guys. Once you call that guy, that guy went out. Once you call that guy. Anyone wants to ask anything? I'll tell you. In the, when the class starts, at that time, I'll tell you. Time management, presentation, that I'll be telling you. The, yeah. If anyone wants to ask online, guys, you can ask. Don't keep doubts with you. And my Hello, class will sir. be like, to ask, ask. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. This is Monisha from Salem. Yeah, yeah. Ask Monisha. Uh, sir, uh, 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 you gave the syllabus and uh, all the topics you have, uh, you will be uh, teaching, you uh, gave everything, sir. Uh, what about the materials, sir? Will the uh, center provide the materials or uh, should we buy the materials by ourselves? So sharing the material in the Telegram channel. Soft copy I'll be sh sharing. Okay, sir. Uh, re books, regarding books? Uh, I'll Any tell books? whenever I... That time I'll tell you. Even the standard books I'll be sharing in the Telegram. Okay. Okay, sir. So everything will be in soft copy, copy metal only one, and no hard copy will be provided. No hard copy. Okay, sir. Class notes. Actually, everything will be covered in the class notes. Okay, sir. So we know we will not be needing any uh, hard copy book. Sorry. You won't be having that much time to refer the books. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Out now. At that time, you can refer that. For that purpose, I am sharing that books. Okay, sir. So, uh, we can totally rely on your teaching itself. We need not to uh, go for any books. That's why I am asking. Is... Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. That's all. Yeah. Sir, I am Damodaran, sir. I have a kind doubt to ask you, sir. Sir, on referring a PYQ question paper, I came across a theorem relating to the ideals and rings. And I want to ask, is there a need to focus more on theorems, sir? Or is there a rare chance of asking the theorems in the questions? In modern algebra, it won't be like a theorem. It will be like a problem only. In the academic examinations, you'll be learning it as theorems, theorems, theorems. Here, you won't, nothing will be like theorems. You need to prove it. Yes. You need to solve that problem. You need to solve yeah. that. Yeah. Sir, also, I want and to ask. Important, uh, important properties which you need to study or where you need to focus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, and I have an. Uh, yes, sir. How, how about the doubt solving session during the weekdays? If you have any doubt, is there a chance to ask during the weekdays or we need to wait for the weekend? The class itself, you can ask. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I came across to search the standard books by, but I got to see that there is no book on, even on the e-commerce site about the Krishna publication, sir. Is it necessary to rest, refer the standard books, sir? I'll, I'll, share, the, I'll share those books, no? I said okay. that only. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, 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 Computer programming here in, it includes uh, you might have uh, if you are from BTEC background uh, there are four number systems like uh, binary number, decimal number, octal, hexadecimal. How will you convert one number system to the other number system? Uh, you'll be having like uh, block diagrams uh, like what I'll call it as Boolean algebra. That will be. It's not a computer program. They said it as computer program. It's not computer program. Flowcharts and algorithms. That it. Physics part, uh, it will be like uh, application of ODE and uh, ODE PD complex analysis. That application only physics. That application. And in this physics part topic, paper two physics topic, you have hydrodynamics and uh, Lagrangian and Hamiltonian models. Lagrangian Hamiltonian models are tough, not just for you, for entire max option, those who are doing, for everyone it is tough. Hydrodynamics is easy. But. 
it's application of ODE and complex analysis mostly. That we'll be covering in the class. Does it have any theory, both theory and problem? Only problem solving. Totally, it will be a problem solving. Sir, whether online classes will be effective. It depends upon the person to person, man. If you come to, actually, what I'll tell is, uh, if you are in the offline, nah, by seeing your face, I can tell whether you are able to understand or not. It's not required that you need to ask the doubt. Just by seeing your face, I can tell whether you are following or not. If you're not following, at the end of the class, I'll tell, or while well, the class itself, is large number of people are unable to understand. I'll change, I'll try to explain in a different way. In the online, I can't see your face. Without seeing your face, I won't be able to know whether you are able to understand or not. That's the only defect. But I prefer sir, if you are on offline, it would be better. So good evening, sir. Yes. Sir, till uh, my higher education, I was able to understand and uh, solve the mathematics but i'm engineering graduate so uh during my engineering so for math mathematics paper i just solved sir no understanding so is that good for me to take max as option uh if you have this 11th and 12th class book once will refer this uh, limits continuity and differentiation chapter if you are able to do that uh, 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 that unit now if you are able to understand that then you can take otherwise don't take yes Thank you, sir. As limits continue. And duration of this max uh, to complete this entirely, it will be taking five to five and a half months. I won't be able to complete within four months. It's not possible. It takes five five to five and a half months. It will be taking. solidly. It will be taking because we'll be daily. You'll be doing the problems for that. Time will be wasted. It won't be like a theory. I'll be telling theory and you need, nicely you'll sit and hear. It won't be like that. Nah? So you need to do the problem. So practice also will happen in the classes. And how much time you need to invest uh, daily in the mathematics optional means uh, our daily weekend I'll be taking the class Saturday and Sunday for five, five hours or six hours. Next, in the weekdays from Monday to Friday, you need to invest daily uh, half an hour to 45 minutes. Daily. Sir, daily I can't invest. On Thursday, I'll be investing three hours, sir. Don't do that. Daily you invest half an hour to 40 minutes. That is required for daily unit. What's the simple logic which I give is? Sir, is the teaching only in English? Yes, in English only it will be. Could you please explain regarding time management, sir? When the class starts, I'll tell at the time management. Uh, just now I said, yeah. Why I said about this uh, 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 daily means there's a system, there's a process called as consistency. Consistency and discipline will take you in the long run. For example, 1 power of 365 will be 1 only. 365 is years, number of days in a year. 1 power of this. But 1.01, small difference is then 0.01 only to the power of 365. Means daily, if you can improve yourself with 0.01%, 0.01% daily, or daily, if you can maintain that consistency, your productivity will be improved 37 times. 37 times you will be more productive. That's why I won't, I won't uh, ask you to follow. On Thursday, do three hours and come to the class. Daily you invest half an hour. Daily you invest half an hour to 45 minutes and come back on Friday, no, Saturday. Then you then you will be in this stage. Your productivity will improve a lot. Focus on always in productivity first, UPSC. Okay, next. Any other?
Ne de? Ya. Asker out. Ne yapayım ben? Sir, by which month the syllabus will be completed, sir? I said, na, five to five and a half months. From now, you can calculate around the December and or January, the first week before Pongal, like that. Sir, we are from Bangalore branch, sir, and it will be according to the GS classes, right, sir? Like it won't interrupt with the GS classes. Yeah, but on weekend it won't be GS. It won't be. It will be there, na? Sir, in the upcoming days, like in class time. Sir. Yes, weekend it won't. Be. Weekend will be totally for option only. All the options will be on mostly on the weekend only. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay then, that's it for uh, this demo. If you have any doubt or anything, you can ask. And uh, from this Saturday, uh, classes will be started. Max optional classes will be started. Okay, thank you.